Hello and welcome to another product review from GMI. Today we are going to be looking at the brand new Megasys Optism Pop Series Spectrophotometer. Hello and welcome to another product review from GMI. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Optism Pop Series UV Viz Spectrophotometer. Immediately you can see that the instrument itself has a very interesting design, something you wouldn't commonly see in a UV Viz um, instrument. Um, it has some very interesting design features um, to go with it. It has four USB ports for easy connectivity to all your peripheral devices. It has a large intuitive touchscreen um, user interface. It's powered on the Windows CE operating system that we've all come to know and love. There's a wide range of product accessories that are available for this instrument um, and a very impressive lineup of specifications. Amongst some of the product um, specifications that you'd expect from a UV Viz spectrophotometer, the Optizen Pop has some very impressive numbers. Um, so what to start off with, it has a spectral um, bandwidth of less than 1.8 nanometers. This very quickly takes the product into um, a research grade, which is um, surprising because it has a very economical price point. The device itself covers the full wavelength range of 190 to 1100 um, nanometers and has accurate and reproducible results. Okay, let's take a look at um, the instrument in a little, little more detail. We're gonna take a look at the operation, the functionality, and the connectivity. Let's start off by taking a look inside. So immediately we see that with the pop um, we have the 8 position um, rotating multi-cell holder. This allows for up to 8 samples to be placed into the instrument at any one given time. This alleviates the need for any um, necessity to restart the system every time you want to reload another sample. This isn't the only option that um, is available in terms of cell holder. There's a wide variety that you can choose from. Just a few examples would be the sipper systems, the um, temperature cell holder systems, the film um, cell holder systems, um, and perhaps one of the more interesting ones would be the um, nanoliter cell system. Um, this actually provides similar functionality to um, what you would expect from instruments like um, the nanodrop. A nice and perhaps pleasant um, feature that the Opsism Pop has is um, its soft touch movement. This might seem like a small detail, but um, the fluid movement like this um, would probably allow for a little more longevity when it comes to the use of this device. You can imagine that slamming the door open and shut can quickly um, shorten the life of the instrument. Having these soft movements probably increases um, the life of the instrument a, a little bit. In addition to that, you can see that there's a quick release um, viewing panel over here. You can quickly gain access to um, the inside of the instrument during operation just by looking um, through the front panel here. Easily removed, easily um, reattached, really quite um, convenient. Okay, so let's take a look at the back of the instrument now. We'll start off by talking about the power supply here. The system actually has a free voltage system in which it works by, which basically means regardless of your AC power coming in, whatever voltage that might be, the internal output of the instrument will always be a steady DC, so you don't have to worry about any power fluctuations or anything like that. These four pieces here are actually easy release screws. They allow for access to the um, tungsten bulb inside or the deuterium um, lamp inside. Very easy to remove, no requirement for any tools or anything like that. So that's quite convenient there. Earlier I mentioned that the instrument has four USB ports. It's, we're not limited by just those four ports. You'll see here that there are three additional RS-232 um, ports. This is for connectivity to additional devices, peripherals that you might want to use with the instrument. In addition to that, you'll see that there's a network port here. This can be used for network printing, as well as firmware updates and diagnostics um, over a network. Finally, this piece here is the internal speaker. This is of course used for the voice prompt navigation that the system uses and it's a nice addition. You don't have to plug in speakers for this feature. Okay, so now that we've had the general um, hardware overview of um, the instrument, we can take a look at some of the software aspects. 
We start off by turning on the instrument by flicking the switch on the back. Right, so while the pop is starting up, it gives me the perfect opportunity to talk about this large um, panel over here. This is actually totally customizable. You can change these to um, the design that you want. Um, really easy to do and really, really um, quite a nice feature. Um, it's not something you would expect to see from an instrument like this. But I'm going to give the Optism Pop its um, few minutes of fame that it well deserves with a feature that actually shocked me. Optizen Pop to assist all main feature of Optizen. Nope, that wasn't me actually speaking there, it was the Optizen Pop. Um, an astonishing feature. I, I really didn't expect to see something like this. I almost fell out of my chair when it first started talking to me, but it is a really nice feature that Optizen have thrown into this device. So, this touchscreen interface that um, we saw just a while ago loading up um, is your um, method of communication with the Optizen Pop. It's powered on Windows CE touchscreen either with your finger or um, the stylus um, really convenient to use you'll see at every stage you'll be given um, voice instruction on what you're actually doing so I'm going to select single wave here and we'll see what happens ATC ATC mode ATC mode leads to measure absorption transmittance and concentration before measuring input wavelength and select cell holder and setup menu Come on, what more can you ask for? It's telling you exactly what you need to what you need to do, what you need to know. Um, the capacity in terms of um, uh, hard drive space on this system is um, as standard. I believe it's two gigabytes, but it is expandable to eight gigabytes if you need that. Um, other other small features that I failed to mention earlier: the tungsten lamp has um, a life of two thousand five hundred hours which is two years and it's warranty covered so if anything goes wrong in that time you're covered under warranty the moving parts are fully um, quartz covered to protect protect moving parts um, during operation the makers of the Optipop clearly invested a lot of time and put a lot of effort into creating this um, very modern sleekly designed smart instrument um, with industry grade features at a very economical price um, it really is a really quite a nice instrument um, thank you for taking the time to um, watch our product review. Um, come back again and watch the many other product reviews that we do. Um, I hope to see you again soon and thank you once again for watching.